Hey, hi, Angel here. Thanks for stopping by. I'm thinking about how that which doesn't kill you makes you stronger, as the saying goes. And even though, of course, there's exceptions to that, sometimes what doesn't kill us makes us weaker because it almost breaks us. Still, I've been thinking about about how true that is in so many ways. I'm making myself some birthday pancakes because it's my birthday and I decided I'm going to splurge on some gluten-free pancakes with all the fixings, including I got real maple syrup, butter, jelly, coconut, and banana in my mix. I'm going all out because it's uh, instead of the birthday cake. Anyway, if that doesn't kill me, it might make me weaker. That's an example of that. But, uh, no, the thing is, it won't kill me, most likely. And um, a lot of things I've done that people are afraid to do haven't killed me. And even some things that have nearly killed me haven't killed me. And the thing about things like that, like breaking ribs, falling from a high place that could kill me, and nearly dying but not dying, or taking a tumble that knocks me unconscious and nearly kills me but doesn't kill me, or getting raped and beat up by people that wanted to kill me but then didn't kill me. All those experiences made me stronger. Getting locked up and then getting to be free again. All of those things helped me see that that I didn't die, so they make me braver. And I was just reflecting on how I know some people would have those experiences and get more cautious. And there have been, sometimes I have that reaction to get more cautious after something goes goes awry or I nearly die, as the rhyme goes. Um, but more and more, I'm able to use those experiences as reasons not to be afraid because um, when I do something that I was afraid of or maybe even that a lot of people are afraid of or that I should be afraid of, and then even if I almost die, and kind of like almost especially if I almost die, but then I live, I survive, it helps show me, teach me like in a kinesthetic way firsthand that you can almost die a lot of times and still live. That uh, one day you're going to die, but all the other days you're going to live, you're going to stay alive, you're not going to die. So I recommend nearly dying on a regular basis. Don't be reckless. Don't make your mom's heart ache or your children worry. Don't be a, don't be stupid, stupid, as Phil would say, Philly D. But do take risks. Do go ahead and take the leap, even knowing you're going to fall sometimes. Because the thing that you'll find out is that most things don't kill you. A lot of things make you stronger. And even if they don't make you stronger, they teach you that you didn't die, and that's worth a lot more than a lot of people give it credit for. That's what I'm thinking about. While I make my birthday pancakes, I got silver dollar. My grandmother used to call those silver dollar pancakes, although they're a little bigger than silver dollar, but but uh, yeah, they're like, you know, triple silver, more like oatmeal cookie size, but anyway. I'm going to enjoy my birthday pancakes. I hope you're enjoying whatever you're into. Till next time, peace, prosperity, possibilities, and positivity. Oh, and pancakes. <laughs>